What's up guys, back to another Hawkeye Star Wars video, and we now have the kit for Sparkle, right? And as always, the official character preview doesn't have percents. So, for example, when a character boosts crit damage or attack, it'll just say boost, you know, a character's crit damage. It's like, okay, by how much? And it's especially useful for someone like a support because if you have two supports one boost attack by 20 percent and then a new one comes out you don't know how good they're going to be if you don't upset they could boost it by five percent they could boost it by seven million percent like come on you know so we are going to be using this site instead because it has percentages but sparkle is the newest harmony character she's a five star quantum character as well mono quantum eat your heart out because she's exactly what you want on the team now her basic attack is pretty basic it is going to be a hundred percent of her attack quantum damage you, you know you get the gist right it's just every character pretty much has this then her skill is increases the crit damage of a single target ally by 24 percent of sparkles crit damage plus 45 percent lasting for one turn at the same time advance forward this ally's action by 50 percent when sparkle uses this building on herself the action advance effect will not trigger then we have her ultimate by the way that skill you know looking kind of familiar kind of like some you know something branya has got you know uh, then we have the ultimate. The ultimate recovers four skill points for the team and grants all allies Cypher. For all allies with Cypher, each stack of the damage boost effect provided by Sparkle's talent additionally increases by 10% last for two turns. Then her talent is while Sparkle is on the battlefield, additionally increase the max number of skill points by two. Whenever an ally consumes one skill point, all allies' damage don't increase by 6%. This effect lasts for two turns and can stack up to three times. Um, damn. That means... That not only are you getting more skill points, right? Well, ultimate recovers these skill points. So in theory, you would ult, then you'd rip all your skills, and then your DPS would just do an insane amount of damage. That's why I've seen people floating on the idea of using her and Branya together to get like some super crazy damage. Like I'm sure the showcase team will probably be those two in like Tinya and Ruan Mei, and then you just like hyper buff to oblivion use all your skill points and then you just nuke but yeah she's she's looking pretty good so far then her technique i don't know why the site is being really slow to like scroll down which is kind of annoying but anyway uh the technique is when using the technique grants all allies misdirect for 20 seconds characters with misdirect will not be detected by enemies and entering battle in the misdirect state recovers three skill points that is massive holy crap then we have her traces, which are increases all allies attack by 15%. When there are one, two, three quantum type allies on the team, additionally increase quantum type allies attack by five, 15, and 30. So if you have a mono quantum team, you get attack 15% and you get their attack boosted by an additional 30%. Mono quantum, you're going crazy. You'd probably drop like, I guess like links or something, right? You'd run Zele, Fushuan, Silverwolf, and sparkle which would probably be a pretty good team then rest of the traces the crit damage boost effect provided by the skill will be extended until the start of the target's next turn and then when using basic attack additionally regenerates 10 energy which is going to be very helpful the fact that that gives her energy as well um we might see some people you know like basic attack to get like you know skill points so if you're like struggling with skill points and use basic attack to get ult then you're just you're just gonna be swimming in them which is kind of nice you won't be using that too much though so like it's a double-edged sword you don't really want to use her basic attack because you want to always skill but then you know he gets more energy did the skill only last um yeah last for one turn which is unfortunate then we have the stat bonuses which are 28 percent to hp 24 percent to crit damage because she scales off crit damage and then 10 percent effect res overall three very good traces you pretty much want to build her crit survival Ability. that way she is not going to die right and effect is very good hp very good crit damage like i said scales off it then we have her dupes first dupe is the cypher effect granted by the ultimate last for an extra turn all eyes with cypher have their attack increased by 40 percent damn her second dupe every stack of the talents effect allows allies to additionally ignore eight percent of the target's defense while dealing damage damn uh five and three are of course skill basic and all that stuff uh, number four is the ultimate recovers one more skill point. The talent addition increases the max skill points by one. And then her last E6, here's the big paragraph. 
The crit damage boost effect provided by the skill additionally increases by an amount equal to 30% of Sparkle's crit damage. When Sparkle uses a skill, her skill's crit damage boost effect will apply to all allies of Cypher. Damn. When Sparkle uses her ultimate, any single ally who benefits from her skill's crit damage boost will spread that effect to allies of Cypher. Damn, so she becomes basically like an AoE support at E6. That's like super unrealistic to go for, but the whales are probably like foaming at the mouth right now. Um... If I had to guess, I'd probably say E2 would probably be like the, if you spend money and really like the character, most people would probably go for E2. Overall, she seems extremely, extremely good. The only thing I see is while Sparkle is going to be probably the more DPS option for, um, between her and Branya, because they do similar things, right? They do crit damage, action advance, um... And then like the AoE ult to help allies. I think Branya is going to be safer in different option just because she also has the cleanse. I am curious to see what's uh, the best light cone for these two. They should post it rather soon. So if you want to, uh, you know, see the light cone, I'll probably make a separate video on that. But overall, she seems very, very good. Unfortunately, I am skipping. I really like Sparkle's design, but. You know, with Akron coming up, I want Akron her light cone, and I'm a real, I'm a huge fan of Robin because she reminds me of Melia from Xenoblade. So I want her, and if she happens to be like the update after Akron, and then if they drop like Firefly or Sam, I want both of them. So it's like you know, a, a little too much. I I gotta I can't just like someone on every single banner. I'm not I'm not there quite there yet, but very cool character design very very uh broken kit she sounds like an extreme buff you can run her on just about any team obviously mono quantum is going to be the most popular along with if you have don hang this is your support right if you've always been like damn i wish i could run brownie with don hang but i don't like how many skill points the team uses this 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 is the team this this is the team right here is sparkle and don hang um i might do a video on that if uh I build up my Don Hang a little bit more. I might grab a friend one and find like one of the weekly bosses and just like spam skills to see how often I get left with those skill points. But overall, very cool character. She has a mechanic that is completely new, which is, well, I guess not completely new because Hanya has it, but the whole recover skill points and go have more skill points than you normally would in battle is kind of crazy. It's like Hanya, but like one step above. I'm a big fan of these characters that have new gimmicks and push the design of the game so really like it let me know what you think in the comments do you think sparkle is not as good as Branya? do you think Branya's is better match it's gg i personally think that sparkle is probably going to be used more just because she is more dps based um but let me know in the comments what you think and of course don't forget to like and subscribe and also are you summoning for her? are you skipping and that's pretty much it thanks for watching